Hey, it's your boy Chongo coming at you with another video. This one is Will Sasso vs. Brian Callen, Funniest Moments, Volume 1. Say that five times real fast. <laughs> I don't know who suggested this, but one, but someone on Team Chango suggested this. So let's, uh, I figured, let's go ahead and make it happen. Anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, and this is why, <laughs> when you are a guy who, you know, is you, yeah. and you're what? 5'11". Right, 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 Be careful with how you characterize it. doesn't Be matter careful. because <laughs> make me mad. you're boxing and shit. And the reason it made me laugh from the bottom of my gut yeah. is that if you ever step to me, give a shit if we're in the theater class. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if we're on a cruise <laughs> yeah, to New careful. York. Careful. <laughs> cruise I, don't give, to New I don't give a shit where we are. Be respectful. Be respectful. <laughs> I'll fold you. Okay. I'll fold you. No. no. Yes, and I'll toss you on no. top of the tallest building I see. No, no listen to me. Don't <laughs> laugh. Have a look around. Don't laugh at that. If this there's is... a two-story building, the uh, seems here. What are we on the third floor here? Yeah. 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 So this has got three floors. This yeah. place. Yeah. yeah. All the all Careful. the places in this Careful whole complex. About three. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. There's lots of great shit outside. Yeah. There's as I was walking in, I saw a food truck. Yes. Everyone was ordering stuff. From yeah. The food it's truck. Careful now. Looks like it's a good thing. Yeah. If we were out there and I was in line and I was like, "Yeah, hi, uh, chicken Caesar, no croutons," and then you walked up and you shoved me out of the way and you were like, three fish tacos," <laughs> and I would just fold you <laughs> no. and turn you around no. and and I no. would start spinning yeah. and no. I go, "There it is," and it's like, "Oh, there's one," and three <laughs> stories up. No. Fuck you. You'd wake Don't up with that. gravel <laughs> rash on the roof. <laughs> Just crumpled up against an air conditioning unit. Going, what the fuck happened? Don't say gravel. Your, you'll get gravel rash. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. There'll be there'll be <laughs> guys up there. Up they'll be up there tarring the gravel with their hot mops, and you'll go, what the fuck shake, happened? Though. You got a little. You're hot. It's hot up there. You got some tar on I you. Some tar on you me. got gravel rash. You're little bleeding. Little bubbly. Yeah, yeah just little bubbly. duty in my pants. Yeah, a little shit. A little shit in your pants. Yeah, listen, I appreciate up. what you're saying, and I get it. I'm not a regular yeah. guy. Yeah, I, I got okay. a lot of tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. A lot of tricks. I'm, I'm, That's the same I'm, thing as Chad. I'll get Will in a weird naked joke. I've been sitting down on my punches lately, doing a lot of sparring. I'm measuring distance. Who's the guy that I say you could all unequivocally? I always give you props, and I say. If that goes to a fight, an organized fight, and I would love to see it happen, maybe we can set up some sort of charity. I know what's happening. Brian's taking that fucking dude's head off. Who's that? Who, who do I say that about? CM Punk. Okay, I don't know. Phil Brooks. Yes. Uh, I always say that Brian, at 50 years old, yep. you'd be able to fucking, you'd be able, you'd, you'd, you'd give uh, CM Punk a false sense of security. He'd come at you, and then you'd throw one of them boxing bob spin kicks like you do on Instagram, yep. and get him into that gravel rash. Okay. You'd get him gravel rash. Gravel right. rash it up. Get okay. him in the hot mops and the okay. black tar. Yeah, you know he's going to fight again, huh? Probably. Come on. Oh, uh, that'll be fun. That's a nice compliment. Now, yeah. be careful now. So, what I'm going to go say is, here? I'll kick his ass and your fucking okay, ass. Man. I'll You'll kick throw his both ass. of them, Will? You'll I'll fuck both, both of up. them up? Hey, I'll fuck them both up. Listen. I'm, I'll, oh, hey, how about this? Yeah, yeah. Fucking quote me. I'll only fight CM Punk if I'm fighting Brian Callen at the same time. <laughs> what do you mean? Because I want to show people the difference. So, I'm just a big. What did Brendan and you? As I walk in here, yeah, here he is, the, the white big Samoan. albino Samoan, the yeah. shaved polar bear. Yeah. Shaved what does a polar bear do? Does a polar bear do any? Does he do any uh, mixed martial arts or no, ballet? No, no. Does he do any lifting weights? No. no. What does he do? No. He drags he walruses up onto. The, that's right. He lives. He hunts and he lives. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I do. I All hunt right. and I live. Yeah. And it ain't. It ain't. <laughs> It's a it's a regular day on the ice for me to <laughs> okay. to drag. So his argument, right, is like <clears throat> polar bear doesn't need to know fucking jujitsu or nothing, right? Because why? Because they're fucking polar bear and it would fuck someone up, right? And so it goes back to it, like at what size is at what point does size matter, right? Like, <laughs> like can Mighty Mouse take on the mountain? Right? <laughs> yeah, Mighty Mouse is super skilled. But that might not matter, man, because that fucker is so big. Like, let's say he gets put in an arm bar. He might just be strong enough to just pull himself out of it. Because he's that big, right? Like, or like, uh, fucking, like, say Ronda Rousey, right? She's skilled. 
but you put some big motherfucker, right? Like the like the average dude at a bar. But Ronald Rousey might be able to fuck a bunch of people up, right? <laughs> Even grown ass men. But again, at what point, like a man of Nunas, at what point does she get fucked up by like some big ass dude that doesn't know how to fight at all, right? Now the mountain's kind of a bad example because he's boxed before. So he has a little bit of knowledge. But yes, something something to think about. Your boy Chang has put a lot of thought into this. Like fucking Bigfoot Silva, right? Can he take on like two fucking, uh, what is it? Straw weights or whatever the fuck, feather weights. What's the smallest weight class, right? You take two of those guys, you put them up against uh, Bigfoot Silva. <laughs> you put them up against, and he doesn't even have to be champion, right? Like just some big motherfucker. Like John Jones against two featherweights two against one right he probably weighs more than both of them put combined right i don't know comment down below let me know what you think like how much of a difference does there need to be where size just overcomes fucking skill yeah anyways let's carry on pm punk and brian up out of the water onto my iceberg and just Pools and pools of blood. <laughs> pools of blood. Regular day on the ice. Regular Bro. day on the ice. I gotta eat. Another day on the ice. What am I gonna let Brian go because I'm eating CM Punk? No, you gotta I'll kill say both of them. Regular day on the ice. Well, regular that's what I'm ice. saying. I'll fight CM Punk so long as I'm fighting Brian Callen. Handicap match. Okay, let's two on one, and you guys gotta wear matching shit. <laughs> like you're a wear, fucking tag team. You don't yeah, tell you me, wear matching. You don't tell shit. me what to fucking wear. You and CM Punk. No. Hey, Will. What was the tag team where they had they had shoulder pads they had spikes on them oh the road warriors yes. Legion of doom yes yeah yeah Legion road warrior doom. animal and road I'll wear warrior what hot. i want oh what a rush i'll we, wear what i want that's what we need you to wear yeah, you yeah. no you guys are, yeah you guys are going to wear but i want you to wear like uh yeah you guys are going to wear spiky shoulder pads but i want the spikes to be dicks <laughs> No, uh, I want you guys in matching like Killer Bees outfits, like no, B. No. Brian Blair and Jumpin' Jim Brunzel. That. CM Punk used to be a professional wrestler, and that's what I want you guys no, to wear. I can't move around. You just, in it's that. just no, it's just a singlet. You know, it's just little the shorts that's striped, oh, no, man. striped with the Killer Bees, just like bees, like black and yeah. yellow, and then you know some cute knee pads, and, and then wings just maybe at the back. Knee pads. Yeah, wings if you want, whatever. Yeah. Some bee wings, yeah, yeah just through, just for the entrance, right? Yeah. And then uh, and then you guys get in the ring, and that's the only way I'll fight CM Punk. All right. Okay. Is he fighting again? Uh, I mean, that's the rumor, yeah. Mm. All right. Good luck getting on big, with iceberg, though. Big, huge, sloping, shaved, albino, Samoan polar bear. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. I don't give a shit. How much boxing you All do? All right. Hold on. Hey, Did you do some boxing? Oh, cool. <laughs> hey, Will, does anyone, when you're on, because you've been working a ton uh, on set, does anyone, or like, hey, so, uh, does anyone talk about fighting or fucking with you ever there? With me? Never. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a nice, uh, gentle person. I'm a I know, but you're quiet. a big dude, so are people like, no. man. No, 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 no. Never. I have a, I have a quiet, I have a. Nobody uh, cuffs you about the ears? No, nobody cuffs me about the ears. It's a question. No, it's not a question. Yeah. You fucking nobody wait. goes to no, your back you, of your you head. You dream of smack smacking you on the neck. me in the head. Hey, you wake up and apologize. Like that, no. They don't do that. No, that never happens. You better to wake me. up and, and dance around you. Dance yeah. around you and no. pepper your face. No. Nope. Nope. Lightning fast nope. jabs. Lightning fast jabs? Yeah. Let's get yeah. in the parking lot after this. I, I would just love bring to, the bro. fucking cameras. I would fucking love Let's it. Let's get it going. I would <laughs> fact, let's get on the roof where it's nice do you and hot. Mind, do you mind I'll if take I my shirt the off. outside and inside of your fucking knees with oh, my feet? Why don't you have a look at my knees? Those are big knees. That yeah, might hurt my foot. Yeah, that might hurt look your foot. Look at the size of that bull heart for a calf. <laughs> it's a giant calf. <laughs> it's the biggest calf I've ever hey, seen. You know, I was at the airport. Yeah. And um, I got you he something. He's a big dude. You got me a gift? Yeah, I got you a gift. Seriously? Yep. Because I was at the airport. All right. Got a snake. <laughs> there you are, my friend. It's for you because I was at I was at the airport and I thought you might enjoy that, and I come bearing gifts. <laughs> Hollywood best woman. Yep. <laughs> so that was the only one they had. That's the only one they had. So left. you got me um, what looks like an Oscar. Mm-hmm. It looks like an Oscar, but it's not. And it says Hollywood <laughs> best woman. <laughs> but it's, it's not. best woman on it, and that's for you. Why would you do that? Because I wanted to get you a nice gift from the airport because nice you're having... It's a condescending gift. Uh, yeah. And don't do that with your face because uh, you know what I'm saying. And that's weird. Don't. That's weird. Don't search. Hold on a second. Uh, Hold on. I don't know if my watch is quite 
working you correctly. Don't, you don't last time on. I checked, it was 2018. Yeah. Are you saying that's insulting? Holy shit. I'm just How saying that this? you gave me a Whoa, Well, hey, let me ask you a question, Brian. Yeah. In 2017, what would you consider uh, the year 2018? I... I don't know. That would be the what? What would we call that? The year of the woman. <laughs> Just one year? It's the future, Brian. And the future is female. And if you're going to not be a scumbag and you want to be equal yeah. to people, like your wife. Yeah. And, uh, you know. And my girlfriend. And your girlfriends and Maya Angelou. And Maya Angelou. And, uh, you know, yeah. uh, and Julia Roberts and people like yeah. that. Yeah. Then uh, you're gonna have to embrace this. So stop being a fucking piece know, of shit. I'm not a Join best us all woman. The- Don't say I'm a best. Woman. Why are you not a woman? How do I, you think? Because I'm a man with a huge hold, dick. Hold and, on a and second. Big, big. Hold on a second. Heavy balls that you, shoot heavy that create a lot of testosterone and semen. Okay, but that doesn't mean that I'm you, not trying to be gross. But that's okay. But my, that doesn't that's my mean deal. But that doesn't mean that you can't be honored and excited by me calling you a woman. No, nope, I can. And saying that you're I the grow best hair on my woman. face, and I'm I'm veed out like a motherfucker. <laughs> that I'm may be out like a motherfucker. Yeah, that may be. Yeah, but you're I'm, also all they had left was woman. And I'm aggressive. And you should be happy. And I'm aggressive enough to fantasize about punching you in the face until you die. So so are, so, are, so are some women. That's true. <laughs> well, then what the fuck? But I don't appreciate this. You're being. So I'm uh, return this gift to you. You're be, don't give that back to me. If I'm you give, give that it back, back to me, you. Brian. If you give that back to me, I will insert it into you. No. Now, here's the. That thing. is, that is I'm an outrageous calm. thing to say. I'm being calm. On fucking camera, Brian. I'm being you calm. Insert it into me. Where? All I'm saying is. No, that's not I gave all you're you, saying. All I'm saying is, I gave you a gift. If you decide to return that gift to me, that I thought you would enjoy. Yeah, careful now. Careful, careful, because I'm going to give you another chance. Because what you just did is... I will, I will take that gift. Yeah, okay. Careful. I'll insert it into okay, you. Okay, man. Okay, Brian? Okay, man. Because that would be I got to say that you... And I think you're being a, a fucking no. thought fascist. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You just said you were going to... You went with your finger, you did a loop, and you push pointed... You, your finger went up in the air, which means that clearly is an indication you're going to stick it right up my shoulder. No, shitter. that's not what it means. Then what does it mean? All Where I'm would... saying, you can draw from this what you like. Uh, well, I am. I got you a gift. It says that it's the best woman. It's an Oscar, but not quite really. Yeah. And you should be honored to have that. And it's fucking, and the, the future is female. Yeah, You fine. fucking piece of shit. All right. <laughs> okay? You fucking. You just threatened. And to, if you don't. You just threatened. To, if you don't take this gift, then you're not just a piece of shit. A fucking thought fascist. You're a misogynist. Uh, what you do they call it? You just threatened to. Cis- you just threatened gendered, to insert this in uh, m- uh, male. And you, if you try to give it back to me, I'm being very <laughs> calm when I say this, right. Brian. I will insert it into. That's you. three times that you've threatened. Okay. To to well, essentially take, take fuck me, me seriously. With this thing. Now what I'm gonna give it back. Mm. I'm gonna keep it over here, and, and I'm gonna give it back to you later. No, I want you to. <laughs> I want you to feature prominently here in your studio is what I want. That's I want you to build a little shelf no, out of this. No. The guy who makes this is a good guy. It took me a long time to etch that out of You did not make oak. that. Some guy so makes did, a bunch of I those. did that in the, in the <laughs> California countryside. Please ask him for a similarly um, affected and diseased panel of wood that you can screw into there as yeah. a little shelf to put your best woman award Get on it. Get your finger out of my <laughs> face, bro. I'll fucking shove it up your head. Let's get your fucking. finger out of my face. I'll shove it right up your shithole. You just said I'll, blatantly where you That thing's it. got little creases on the side where it was put together because it was made far away by children with little hands. Oh, and no. those little edges cut. Oh, no. And I'll fucking ram it up your balloon knot. And it'll hurt to shit for weeks if I do that. Don't call it a balloon it knot. Hurt, hurt you're so aggressive right your now. fucking little brown balloon knot. Don't call it a brown balloon knot. I would take knot. like, you know, if you took like bubble gum? Yeah. Like chocolate. Do they make chocolate gum? I don't know, dude. And chocolate and gum. Shoot it up, somewhere. And then just take your your nostril and your ear hairs go brink, and then just twist it into the fucking brown gum. And that's that's a replica of my... my that's your shithole. <laughs> And then take that fucking thing and try to put the gum on it like a hat, and you'll bleed. Okay, bro. I'm gonna ask you. Hey, I'm man. gonna do a reset. Yeah. And I you want to start, start over. This, well, no, I don't want to start over, but I do want to start metaphorically over because you're obviously got some problems. <laughs> with your this is my funeral song. Yep. This was it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it, though? That's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, God, Will, you kill it on this song, huh? Thank you. Wow. I'm gonna start tutting. <laughs> oh, What's going on right that's now? That's my that's my funeral that's song. That's your funeral song. And Chris and I will come in. Are you guys carrying my my coffin? We're gonna be or like floating body. next to your coffin like this. Am I not in a coffin? It? We're the yeah. only pallbearers. No, I want to be wrapped like a mummy, and you guys are carrying me wrapped like a mummy. Yeah. <laughs> in white and yeah. white. But we're just making you float. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your I'm on your, I'm your, on your shoulder. Crying. I'm on yeah. your shoulder. My body's rigor mortis. Your, your wife's crying. <laughs> and you your wink kids at her. Are mine. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then we do that you walk thing. Walk by and wink at my wife with my, with me on your shoulder, yeah. wrapped in gauze. You know, uh, you know, out here in LA and Southern California, they have those <clears throat> sign flippers. They have them in other parts of the country yeah. where it's like mm-hmm. Subway sandwich five ninety nine. Yeah, come Brian check out these that. new apartments. That's what we do with Brian's corpse mm-hmm. at the fucking funeral, and we just flip it around idea. and spin chicken, it in the air. Chicken suits, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> chicken suits to that song. Yep. yep. Uh, oh, that'd be a cool funeral, Brian. Right, what do you serve for food? Money. What do you serve? Bacon. Uh, two <laughs> white women are going to make burritos. Bacon. There you go. There you go. There you go. Two white women who went to Mexico are super foodies. Hey, you know what? Let's start a restaurant. Decided People fucking loved it. Yeah. And now it, the only. Boys. <laughs> Just while flipping Brian's body with chicken suits on. While white women make burritos. Yeah. <laughs> Wife crying so hard. Yeah. And, I'm, and your kids are on my shoulders. Why are they doing this? I don't know if I like this. And then I bust out of the gauze, and I'm like, psych. And I yeah. cut both your throats. Okay. And I drink your blood. Uh, no. Okay. Too much. Um, yeah, no, um, uh, they, call, they call lobsters bugs out there? Yeah, they do. Well, they're in the they bug family. Rest, they they are in the bug family. Bugs. Shut the fuck up about animals. <laughs> I'm just talking about Australia. Thank you, Will. And he was Thank so you. happy to go, no, they're they are the bug family. Yeah, they, oh, you. why do we call them bugs? Because, hey, uh, yeah. Hey. I'm going to tell you this right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Uh, okay. What's going to happen? What are you going to do? Use some of that <laughs> boxing you've been doing? <laughs> boxing. <laughs> Don't you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey. Don't be. Don't. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't put that. Bro. Shut up, Brian. You fuck- Will, are you finally seeing I'll a tell machine? you what would take a while. Uh, because and everyone's going to find out about this because we're going to sell tickets and we're going to have a pay per view. It's going to be the first Fighter and the Kid pay per view. You're venturing into new lands and you want to make some real fucking money. Yeah, I correct. do. Yeah, we're going to do a pay per view and it's going to be you and me and it's going to be we're going to incorporate a little of the you know the the wrestling sports entertainment thing. We're going to say that it's a, a no disqualification match, right? Okay. But MMA rules, no disqualification <laughs> and submission oh. or knockout only. Okay, and then and then you're going to come at me with whatever what's it going to be yeah uh, i'm going to shuck and i'm going to and i got considerable no, I'd power probably, kicks or whatever i probably, I'd probably g- g- throw kicks and punches at you because i don't want to get in right and i'm going to and i'm going to swat those away and bat my eyes <laughs> and it's not going to be fun to watch right on tv you're going to be like he's never fought what the fu- i'm going to do this yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. which is going to be even more embarrassing when i actually do get a hold of you and just kick your legs out from under you and then i start the Game Applying of Thrones. The pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Bring that up, Chin, that Game of Thrones scene. With, then, what's the guy's name? The Mountain. The Mountain. The mountain. And then everyone's the going to go. man with hands. People yeah. are going to go Talk get about popcorn mountain. and hot dogs because it's going to take about four hours of, you. And, of me just going, and again, you're out cold in the first 30 seconds, and then at around the four-hour mark, you're just going to hear, and then your head's going to get views, though, collapse bro. in. This guy on the top kills one of the Faith Militant members. No, no, it it's would right be. There. It's, it, uh, it's the second one down. Red Piper versus the Mountain. Red one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it is exactly how I picture. This is the way now, it's going to happen. Now you got to fast forward because we're showing the whole scene here. We're we're even going to do it like outdoors, like this. Keep we're going. Do it at Keep the going. Greek like Theater that. here in L.A. Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm going to sit on top, and then I'm also going to rent a small person <laughs> to <laughs> kind of play this. Part. You know, when a it comes, Brendan's going to sit there like the emperor. Yes, and just do the thumbs up, thumbs down. Yes. When it comes to um swordplay. There we size go. doesn't much matter, does it? You'd be size surprised. The size of the sword matters. So there's Brian with that shitty bowl cut. Oh, no. And then here's Will. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> there goes all your teeth. And then here's Will. <laughs> and this will take four hours. 
<laughs> but this, imagine this for four hours. <laughs> oh, sh- I gotta watch this show. Now here's Will doing this and dead. Oh, and dead. Game of Thrones style. Will Sasso, Brian Callen. Oh no, that's gonna sell pay per views. Will. So I need to start working on your then, better. And then he died, though, and then he died. I love yeah, that yeah. Guy. You're wait. It's See, I'm the old rich dude. That's me. That's me right guy. there. And, and then we'll rent the small guy. I'll find. <laughs> and you'd rock that outfit too. Yeah. You get that fucking yes, full length. John Barbados. Then we'll hire just some dime piece. <laughs> yeah. I love her. <laughs> Look at that quilted. Uh, what is that quilted armor? Man. Yeah. See, that's I what I want to happen swim. to you, B. <laughs> Well, that's cool that, bro? I'm not cool with having my head. You're going to have to fill out some papers before we start. I'll tell you that right now. You might want to get your issues in order. I'm not filling out any papers. You might want to get your papers. banking in order. No. You might want to fill it. You might want to get that will going. No, I'm not doing kids. any of that. Something to think about, though, bro. My Something kids. to think about. When you see my back ripple and I pull myself up like a chimp, <laughs> like a chimp 30 like times back so while I'm talking. talking to you, why wouldn't I give that to you as it's inspiration? It's a gift. It's a gift, really. It's a gift. All right, so uh, that was pretty good. Fucking so, yeah. It begs the question. <clears throat> I should probably turn this on so you guys can see me. It begs the question: Can can size overcome skill? And if so, how much of a size difference does there need to be? Right? Like, can John Jones take on two? straw weights or fucking whatever the fuck you call them some little ass fucking guys like would he win that would he win that fucking battle yeah it's kind of it's kind of hard it's 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 just kind of hard to envision or just some absolute like some like Eddie, Eddie Hall I think that big ass fucking power lifter dude like can he take on a small Maybe not Mighty Miles, maybe not the cream of the crop in that weight class, but maybe like, you know, top five, you know, top 10 featherweight. Like, will Eddie Hall be able to take on something like that? <laughs> Someone like that? <laughs> I mean, not only does they ha- do they have to be big, but they have to be pretty strong. In that scenario, I'm taking uh, uh, Brian Callen. He can probably stick and move and, and move around a little bit. Dude's... You know, when when I slim down, he's probably about my size. I'm about 5'11", 170, 180 when I'm at my, I guess, peak, you could say. Like, right this moment, I'm probably like 190, 192 or something. So I got a long way to go. But come summertime, I'll be about Brian Callen's size, 170, 180, 5'11". Uh, although I don't think I look as small as him. I don't know, man. That fucking, that Will Sasso dude's pretty big. <laughs> That's a big ass motherfucker, dude. He's gotta be like, he's gotta be hitting, he's gotta be pushing like 350 or something. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and take care. Go ahead and peace out.